It's, it's part of a very good work that government has been doing since 1994 in improving the infrastructure, uh, particularly on the health facilities in the province. It's an investment that uh, people of this area, more than 300,000 population uh, that resides in this area, uh, deserves. Uh, it's a place where we have seen it all. Uh, many people who are actually coming from this area. It's a very interesting area uh, if you look at uh, what it has been producing on mathematics and physical science. Uh, if you even if the current generation, it continues to show us that. So it's a very brilliant uh, piece of work uh, that uh, government has done. It's a very solid investment. Uh, it's a hospital that we would want to see in a number of uh, areas uh, in our province, but. Uh, we are slowly getting there. Uh, we are working very hard to turn around the, the situation in our province. But it shows that government hasn't been sleeping. Yes, uh, we have a huge uh, uh, challenges of uh, social infrastructure backlog. But uh, we are slowly dealing with them uh, and they surely will deliver at the uh, final end. Quite impressive. Uh, quite impressive. Uh, generally, Alfred Nzo has been good. has been doing good on COVID-19. Uh, from a district point of view, uh, as well as from the local uh, point of view. There's been a very collaborative effort, uh, people working together, all stakeholders, uh, communities, traditional leaders, government. Uh, so it's something that is commendable. Uh, so we see that as well, uh, practically, on the outcomes. Uh, yes, we have lost some few, uh, especially even in this area, but uh, we have seen a huge recovery rate. and. Uh, uh, with low numbers, actually, if, if you compare Alfred in general with other districts.